I've got nothing against your friends. I like your friends. You now things have obviously changed for us. I have to help Charles finish his movie. JJ, welcome to the film. Tell us a little bit about Super 8. Super 8's a movie about a bunch of um, kids and their parents in late 70s. These kids are making a Super 8 movie that is a sort of zombie film, a little scary movie, and then something truly terrifying happens to them. And action! I play Charles, who is the director of the zombie movie within the movie, and uh, he's a very bossy guy. He likes, he's production value crazed, and um, he's Joe's best friend. Production value! Carrie, you put film in the camera, right? I, I didn't put it in. What? I play um, a zombie, and my character's name is Carrie. He acts before <laughs> he thinks, he, uh, he'll blow anything he can get his hands on up. And um, he likes to annoy everybody around him for his personal amusement, basically. <laughs> Shut up! I am trying! Hurry, get that set up! Hurry, positions! Positions! My character, uh, Joe, he, his mom just died, and his dad is a, a deputy in the sheriff's department in the town. He wants to send me to baseball camp all summer, but I want to stay and make a movie with these guys. Be good for you to spend some time with kids who don't run around with cameras and monster makeup. Uh, could you close your eyes, please? Who out of the characters is a mini-me, JJ? I feel like I'm all of them. I mean, I, I was never as confident as the kid who sort of the director. I was sort of the, the kid, Carrie, in the movie, who was sort of the power maniac. Yeah. Um, I was sort of all of them. How did you find it, working with JJ? A lot of it, but was just us hanging out. They had arcade games for us to play, and we all just clicked instantly. So yeah. we went into yeah. making the movie as best friends. Definitely whenever I was playing the director, I just looked to JJ and see what he was doing and incorporate that into my character, but... With being my first movie, I had no idea what the set was like. What I had no idea how much work went into making a movie, so JJ taught us all about that kind of stuff and kind of took Joel and I under his wing. Did he give you any films that uh, to sort of draw inspiration from? Stand By Me, The, the Goonies, Goonies uh, e. Close Encounters, E.T., um, even The Poltergeist. The classics. <laughs> yeah, you know, but um, JJ has said this definitely has the Goonies, E.T., Stand By Me type feel, but there's something fresh, so there's something to look forward to in the movie. Yeah, and this, like many of your other projects, is shrouded in secrecy. How do you actually keep everything under wraps when you're filming? The, the key is just to tell the cast and crew we want to keep the fun for the audience, not spoil mm -hmm. it for them, and then not talk about it. Uh, so it's amazing how when you just don't discuss something, People think that you're withholding things from them, but all you're trying to do is keep the experience fun for the people who hopefully will go see the film. I saw it. No one believes me. I believe you.